Hi girls, it's Monday. My sister, Bailey. So we're just chilling upstairs. We were doing homework. Now we're playing Nancy Drew. Secret of Shadow Ranch. Yep. Distractions. Yay! On Wednesday, uh, I went to go see Motion City Soundtrack and Say Anything at the Crystal Ballroom. And uh, I was kind of scared because it was my first time that I had to actually drive to like downtown Portland and park in a parking garage. So anyways, I drove, I didn't get lost on my way to the Crystal Ballroom and I found the exact parking garage that I wanted to find. Yeah, so I parked there and I was like, how much is it going to be to park? Because I pulled money out of my bank account so that I would be able to pay for parking. And the guy was like, no, no, you pay afterwards, and uh, you put it in this envelope. And I'm like, okay. And then I took my ticket and, um, like, my little card, which I would have to slide later to get back into the garage, because it closed at 11, and my show, I didn't leave the venue until, like, 11. So, um, yeah, anyways, the show was good. I got there, like, half hour to doors. Um, so there was a line and stuff, which I didn't mind. I didn't really want to be in the front, and I am so glad that I was not in the front row because the Say Anything crowd was insane. Um, like, I was in the crowd because the crowd was pretty easy to go through. Um, I made it to, like, um, close to the barrier, like, maybe five rows of people behind. So right in the middle of the crowd for, like, Saves the Day, Say Anything, which, by the way, Saves the Day blew my mind. I thought that I did not like them because I'd never really listened to them before even though their music videos were on all the time on Steven's Untitled Rock Show but they sounded really really good live. So I ended up downloading all six of their albums this weekend and I'm loving them. Loving them. So. <laughs> uh, anyway, say anything. Their crowd was insane. It was, I thought it was going to be moshing and it was more just like the whole crowd was like Moving this way! Now moving this way! <laughs> and, it, like, I, by the end of their set, I, my bangs were dripping wet. I was sweating that much. It was disgusting. So, but a bunch of people left the crowd after Say Anything. Um, oh, also, the crowd, like, pushed forward. People would run and just push forward. So uh, that's why I'm glad that I am not, or that I was not front row for that show, because um, I would have been broken in half. That would have been bad. <laughs> so, yeah. so, anyways, a bunch of people left after Say Anything, and um, I was, like, a couple people behind Barricade for Motion City Soundtrack. Also, it was pretty exciting, because I like this band called The Starting Line, um, and their singer is Kenny Vasoli, and he was actually playing bass for Say Anything. Uh, so I was like, oh my god, he looks like Kenny, and then... Uh, Max Bemis, the singer for Say Anything, was like, I love this lineup with Kenny Vasoli on the bass, and I was like, oh my gosh! My adventures in the parking garage. Ooh. Awful. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you didn't even hear this story, because no. I was too embarrassed to tell you. I only told my dad. Go. So, I got to the parking garage, and I just, I was tired, and I slid my car, and I went into the building, got to my car, and I came driving around, and I got to the area where you pay. Now there's a tiny box and it says envelopes here. And I'm looking around and I'm like, there are no envelopes and it does not say how much my parking is. Although I'm pretty sure the guy that told me when I was coming in said that it was like six bucks maybe. Thanks. Ooh, that's scary. Go away, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's okay. And uh, so I, I'm pretty sure he told me it was like six bucks when I was driving in. So I had like six bucks in my hand. And I'm like, okay, I don't see the envelopes. The thing in front of my car goes up. And then the gate uh, is, like, shut um, in, like, to leave the entrance and exit to the parking garage. Like, the gate starts to go up. 
So I'm like, oh. So I'm like, where are the envelopes? And I'm looking around and I'm trying to get my money. I'm like, maybe I'll just throw money in there without an envelope. And I reach to put it in and then the gate starts coming down. It's like, <laughs> crap. So I uh, hopped like in my car. So I just threw the money in my seat and I drove and I did not make it in time. The gate was already shut or like close to being shut. My car would not have made it out of there. So I reversed to go back on the sensor. But when I reversed, the little thing had already gone down so my car could not go back in the sensor so I'm stuck before the bar behind the gate in my car I get out of the car looking around for something like a number to call to be like I'm trapped in the parking garage and I can't find anything at this very second I think oh my god I'm gonna die in a parking garage this sucks <laughs> so I run back around to the box to see if there's any envelopes or something and as I run back around I hit the sensor so the gate starts to go back up, so I'm like, screw this, and I run into my car and I just drive off, and I, dr in my, like, anxiety of, or in the adrenaline from trying to escape the parking garage, I got on the road and I'm going the wrong way on a one-way, see headlights coming in my direction, like, because I'm driving and I'm like, why are there no signs or lights on my way? And I see headlights, so I immediately flip a Yui, make the U-turn, uh, and then finally find the 405, which leads me to the I-5 North, which gets me home. So that was stressful. I felt like poop the whole drive home. After the show on Wednesday, I was kind of tired Thursday when I went to school, um, but something amazing happened. Uh, I was sitting in outside my classroom with Bailey and our friend Austin and this guy walks by and I see him and I'm just like struck by his beauty I, I'm i like wow this guy's a really nice face and his jacket is really shiny there's just something that I just stared at him and he looked at me and he just goes hey so I was like oh he said hi to me and then he came back around um, when he was walking back to his class or whatever and we made eye contact again, and I just kept staring. I don't know why I didn't say anything. I, like, I was just staring like a dork, and he just goes, Hrrr, and I was amazed. Um, and then on Friday, uh, I was excited because I was going to see Zoe. Walked up to the schnitz, and I get in, and there's a sign that says, No pictures or video allowed during the performance. It was, That's poop. It was poopy. I was kind of bummed out, so I didn't get any pictures, nor did I get any videos from the show. Sorry. <laughs> so. And then on Saturday, uh, I got a new phone, um, because my old phone was sadly just not quite what it used to be. Uh, so I wanted to get the Envy Touch, but apparently they had just stopped making them, and they did not have any, nor did they have the Envy 3. So I decided to stop being a baby and come into the future and get a touchscreen phone. So it is the Samsung Reality. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. It looks like this and then it does this. So it actually has keyboard like right there with the buttons because I'm just not ready to give up on buttons <coughs> yet even though it seems like the way of the future is touchscreen. Hi guys, I'm Jack. So that's about all that's going on over here in the center. Um, Valerie, I'll see you on Tuesday. And uh, P.S. Love you guys.